Hello everybody! Today is another post and today is the day where I take you through the cobblestone streets during Christmas time in an old medieval town in, called Clisson en France, in France. Here is the most special day that I will always be thankful for. Oof, it brings up emotion. All right, Cher Diary. Clisson was as beautiful as you'd imagine a medieval town to look and feel like in France during the lead up to Christmas. It has a gorgeous castle right in the middle of Old Town and Christmas markets with trinkets and ornaments and food and wine oh, lining the cobblestone streets leading to the art gallery. Music was playing in the streets and there was a gorgeous river flowing through the middle of the town. Oh my God, it was beautiful. Sandra and I just could not get over it. The art exhibit was by Pedro, Guy's friend. He was an absolutely super beautiful person and fabulous artist. His paintings are stunning and I so enjoyed going up and looking at them closely, trying to decipher the techniques that he used. And I thought to myself, you know what? I could do something like this. I felt so inspired to try and paint myself. I will paint in France. We walked around the market and along the beautiful river. Sandra walked with her friend and I walked with Guy. I felt so at ease with him that the words were just rolling off my tongue. How could I feel so at ease with this person so quickly? He asked me why I was in French, in France. And it felt so amazing to feel comfortable enough to talk to him about reincarnation. I told him how I felt that I was from here, that I had lived here in another life. And that's why I think that my soul had been yearning to just come back home ever since I was an eight-year-old girl. He totally understood and he got it. What? Was I actually able to speak without censoring myself? Was I absolutely be able to speak about spirituality without trying to, you know, hide my words and hide what, what I said and how I said it? Was I laughing without worrying about being too loud? Was I speaking about all of this in French? We, we went afterwards to a little cafe to drink a coffee and warm up. And Guy invited us all over to his place at nine o'clock. But whew, after the drive back, I felt really tired. So I suggested Wednesday instead. So here's the journal entry from Mercredi, le 21 décembre, Wednesday the 21st of December. Cher diary. Youpi! J'aime ma vie. Oh, hooray, I love my life. We went to Guy's house today and his brother, the monk, and two other friends were there. Guy made homemade traditional chai tea and we all sat on the floor in Le Salon where he teaches yoga and just chatted and laughed. Everyone left except Sandra and I. We stayed till 4.30 in the morning. We all shared more personal details about our past relationships. God, it was fantastic being able to talk about relationships and yoga and birth and changing the baby's position just by asking it to move, meditation, visualization, compassion, vegetarianism, everything. Now it was the weekend so I slept over at Sandra's house. We slept in until 12.30 and then got ready to go meet up with Guy again. He had invited us to a Buddhist talk. I really didn't understand that much, but it still felt great to be in the energy of the room where they chanted in Tibetan. I just sat with my eyes closed and balanced my chakras. It felt incredible. 
I got that feeling again where I'm lifting out of my body. Does that happen to everyone? I have to ask Guy. I also received three messages. One, it's absolutely necessary for me to balance myself and meditate as often, if not every day, if I can. Two, it is possible to heal my back and my hips and this damn acne that has surfaced on my face. Three, I require healthy eating, more meditation, and more compassion for myself and others. I put out to the universe my intention for my life. It is to learn that life doesn't need to have struggles. I want to be an example for people that you can be healthy, fit, and happy. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It takes more strength to be that, all that, than to endure hardships all the time. This is my goal. I want to be an example like Goldie Hawn. People admire and respect her and are in awe of her happiness. That's me and I'm going to continue to get better and better as time goes on. I'm not interested in following Buddhism religiously, but the philosophies are great and becoming one with the self and gaining compassion for all living things is fantastic and perfect for me. Bonne nuit. Hmm. I'm going to stop there today and just make a little bit of commentary. This day and that intention that I made is beyond beautiful. When I was reading it and actually typing this blog entry out for you, it took my breath away because I made an intention that day, folks. And I'm going to take a picture of it just so you can see that it was what I wrote in my journal that day. And now that was 1997, December. <laughs> it is now December 2016. 16, yeah. And here I am doing, oh my God, I'm just having a moment here. I'm doing the Elegant Life blog because I have become the woman I wanted to become. I am a happy woman. I do glow source energy, glowing white light. I am able to teach women how to get into elegant flow and stay there so that life doesn't have to be a struggle. <laughs> that life, you can be healthy and you can be fit and you don't have to work hard to be fit or to get that body you want. Oh my God. I'm having a moment right now because I'm just realizing this, ladies, if you want more information, we're going to talk about all these kind of things later, but if it, I, I just feel inspired to share it with you. If you go on to the elephant, the elephant, the elegantlife.com forward slash shop, and you see the product called the art of living elegantly, that, that is what I have learned from 1996, seven, to 2016. I don't want it to have to take you that long. It is the most simple, elegant, beautiful formula for living life and manifesting all of your dreams for your desires to come true without struggle or hardship. If you are inspired, then go there right now and invest in that. It will change your life. As you can see, it's possible. I can't wait to share with you how this journey continues. I will see you tomorrow.